Welcome back to our channel, ladies and gentlemen. Justice Lawrence Mugambi is a man under siege and his life is in danger. This is after he sentenced the acting inspector general of police to a six month jail term after Gilbert Masengeli refused to obey court orders for a period of seven times. And when Justice Mugambi read his final ruling, he told, he said that Gilbert Masengeli must present himself to the Commissioner General of Prisons so that he can start his sentence, uh, his jail term of six months. But he put a rider noting that that verdict was a coercive verdict and it was, it, it was supposed to compel the acting inspector general to appear before his court, noting that he had given him seven days of which if he presented himself in person, then that ruling was not going to be affected. But after seven days, if the inspector general was not going to present himself, then he said that he was going to start his jail term. In the event that the acting inspector general, Mr. Gilbert Masengeli failed to present himself before the Commissioner General, General of Police, then Justice Mugambi said that he transferred the burden of ensuring that his judgment was effected to the Interior Minister, Kithuri Kindiki, whom he ordered to ensure that Masengeli served his term. But then after that ruling, Justice Mugambi realized that the police was inquiring of his whereabouts and it was really, he felt that his life was in danger because the police kept on asking his driver of his whereabouts. And then he realized that he was being uh, pursued. There was a lot of surveillance. And over the weekend, his fears came true because the security details that was given, you know, a, a judge is always uh, protected and is uh, assigned some policemen to protect him. So his security details were removed and the policemen who are guarding him were disarmed and with the drone. And you know, that is a very serious concern. Now, the Chief Justice, who is also the President of the Judiciary, today revealed that Judge Lawrence Mugambi's security with the drone after jailing the IG Masengelia. This is exactly, let's just read a little bit. It says that the security of High Court Judge Lawrence Mugambi has been withdrawn. Chief Justice Martha Komi on Monday reported that the security details were withdrawn over the weekend after they were disarmed. That is always the process. They disarm you, they take away your weapons because the, 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 the pistol or other the, the, or the other weapons that you work with belong to the government. So they disarm you, then they withdraw or they, they assign you duties to other you know, people, they can assign you to, you know, go back to the headquarters or you're assigned any other political officers. So Justice Mata Kome is saying this, that a disturbing action was taken by the national police in the wake of sentencing of the acting inspector general. Police belonging to Mugambi were disarmed and subsequently withdrawn over the weekend. Kome stated as she condemned the action. The Chief Justice noted that the actions are against Article 160 of the Constitution, which emphasized the independence of the judiciary. And this, uh, she was saying, retaliatory measures against judicial officers are uncalled for. JSC calls for the National Police to restore the security of Honorable Justice Mugabe. She said, now, ladies and gentlemen, even without reading further, there's nothing new because we already know what the UDA government is made of. Ruto himself had said, had threatened the judges. This is the first time we see this kind of, of, of threats. He had said he was not going to obey court verdicts. We all know this. And he accused some people, he called them unscrupulous people who were in cahoots with the corrupt judges who were hell-bent to sabotage his agenda. This is something that he said. And I remember he was saying that he was given a sword to ensure that he dealt with those people who did not dance to his tune. 
what exactly is happening here is that after the ruling, they know very well that Masengeli must serve his turn or he must present himself in person. So to avoid all this, they want to start by intimidating this judge. And after they have intimidated him, they might go and appeal this verdict. Once they start by intimidating Mugambi, it is a warning to any judge who will take up this case, maybe at the appellate level, so that he knows that the life of Mugambi is in danger. And so he will play along. He will do what the police want and he will write a report. This is something that we already know. Or they just want Masengeli to go along his businesses as usual without reporting anywhere, without reporting back to the court or going to the Commissioner General of Prisons. And once the judges have been intimidated, they know no action will be taken. So today when you see such kind of things, these are the normal, normal intimidation that we are always used to. Remember this is coming in the wake of some people who have been abducted and this is the genesis of all these rulings. It is the foundation why Masengeli is needed in person in, 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 in court. So the intimidation is now from the common Mwanainchi. It is now going to the judges. And sometimes you ask yourself, if a judge of the high court, if a judge can be intimidated, a judge who's got security details, then what about the common man like you and I? And uh, the chief justice always, whenever I see uh, you know, the police or the, the executive arm of the government intimidating judges, I feel that she also shares a fair share of the blame because there is a way in which she has never stood strong to condemn any action from the executive. When William Ruto was intimidating them, instead of you know condemning William Ruto with seriousness, she was summoned and they went for a, a meeting in State House. And I remember people warned her that if you do this, the future is going to be very bleak. The security and the independence and authority of judges will be compromised because you have already compromised yourself by going to State House. They held a meeting and there was nothing viable that came out of that mission. So this kind of intimidation is something that we must condemn. Why? We've always depended on the judiciary to help us, especially when the executive arm of the government becomes stubborn. When they, when they procure bills that we don't want, we take them to court. Every little thing, we always go to court. Even when they kidnap people, they don't, they don't want to produce them. We always run to court for legal redress. You see, when we keep quiet, because these judges only depend on us, they are also human beings. Mugambi is a human being. He's got children. If he loses his life today, what will happen? We will continue with, with our businesses as usual. And therefore, if we don't stand up for, their, for them, then they will, be, they, they will be cowed, they will be afraid, and they will start making rulings that are intended to what the government wants. And therefore, Kenyans must wake up and rise and stand in solidarity with them. Remember the judge who made a ruling on the, on, on the case of Kimaror and um, Aror, Kimarer and Aror Dam, when he faulted the investigation and said that the only reason why he, she released the suspects was because there was interference by the very independent institu institutions that are supposed to help with the investigation. Judge Newton, that judge was transferred. And it's not the first person. I remember there was, a, there was another one who ruled against William Ruto in the Finance Bill 2023, if I'm not wrong. She was also transferred. So it has been a trend. And sometimes Martha Koome is also being used in this. She has herself to blame when her judges are being intimidated because She's the one who even gave Ruto his win. I mean, people have always talked about this. She has been dining with the hyena. And this is the time to know the real person she's been, I mean, dining with. And Kenyans must condemn this in the, in the strongest terms possible. Judge Mugabe should not be intimidated. I understand that Masengeli is, was not at the helm when these people were being abducted. But then she, he, he can go and say the same in court. I saw his lawyer claiming that there's a lot of politics around Masengeli's, you know, 
poster or something. Be that as it may, there is nothing wrong if Basengeli goes there and explains himself. Kenyans know that he was not at the hell. He can go there and say, let the former IG, Kuhome, come and explain all this. But when you go and start intimidating our judges, then no one is safe. No one is safe. And William Ruto, because he's the commander-in-chief of all the armed forces, must tell us what is happening.